Hey, welcome back. Uh, as we discuss two very important concepts, discount bond and premium bond, now comes another very interesting topic that is related to sorry, my bad. Now that is related to these interest rate fluctuations. We call it as a call. We call it as a call provisions. These call provisions. These call provisions mean a company who has issued bond can call back their bonds or redeem them. at any time during the life of bond. It means your company who has issued the bond and that you are owning right now or you are holding right now, the company can call back this bond in future at any particular time. But it's not any particular time we decide that particular time ke from when the company is able or from where the company is able to you know, call back their bond. So we decide all these terms as we discuss in what? Yes, what? Components. In components we have decided these terms. So normally companies call their bonds after five years. So we call them deferred calls. companies which are able to call their bonds after five years, we call them as in a deferred calls. So what is the reason behind this all mechanism or the call from provision? Why companies call their bonds? Because of this premium bond condition, when interest rate in the market goes down and company has a benefit or a loss company will have a benefit because when company issued that bond they were supposed to pay 10 percent coupon or 100 coupon to you but now after five years let's suppose now here it's a five year after five years the interest rate goes down of five percent so now if company is going to again issue the same bond they will be benefiting 100 minus 50 equal to 50 rupees gain on their new issue because their cost will be decreased and the cost will be decreased by 50 rupees. So that's why companies are always eager to call their bond or they decided a call provision into their components where issuing bonds when they think or assumes that in the near future interest rates are going to uh, down very largely. So that's why they have a call provision. Now this is a benefit from the company perspective. In call provision, what benefit your uh, bondholder can get from the company in this situation? Right? This is a benefit. Obviously, it's a benefit to company. But what if bondholders? What should they do? Now see that in the same particular scenario. 100, let's suppose 100, 100, 100, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Company has called this bond, right? So let's make it very simple now. 5, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 years bond. It's a 25 year bond. And company is calling that bond, let's suppose after 10 years. So after 10 years, the interest rate goes down 5%. But still that bond is not mature. You are holding that bond. You are holding that bond and company is calling that bond at this stage. Now, what benefit is company offering you? Yes, company is offering you a one benefit over here. 
you have got this hundred coupon already, this coupon as already, so you have already got two hundred coupon payments plus company is giving you back your principal one thousand. But one additional benefit is company giving you that one extra coupon. You are getting one extra coupon of 100 for which you have not hold the bond. Uh, you have just returned that bond to your company at this point but company to just make their or to just continue with their goodwill they are just offering you one additional 100 coupon payments. So that's what the benefit you will get. So in total you will get 1300 on your holding of two uh, ten year maturity a uh, ten year holding period because the life of the bond is twenty five year but the company is calling that bond uh, after ten years so you will be getting the return not the return but benefit of around one thousand three hundred still you are in a benefit because you invested one thousand and you got three hundred additional. Uh, return on your 1000. So this is how the call provision works. Uh, this is how uh, why companies call their bonds, what is the benefit and what is the benefit from investor perspective. So this all come under the category of premium bond. So this all is started with the interest rate. When interest rate changes, how it will impact on your bond price. It